welcome back dear students today our topic is techniques of tissue culture and before starting our today's topic first of all let's recapitulate what we have studied so far in the previous part i told you something about the concept of tissue culture and cellular photosynthesis and before moving on to our present topic uh, let me tell you that in tissue culture you are only able to culture the plant cells tissues and organs when you are having some expertise in some techniques okay and you are having some specific uh, conditions today uh, we are going to study those conditions and techniques okay uh, so let's move on to the techniques of tissue culture tissue culture is also known as in vitro culture because in tissue culture we culture the plant cells tissues and organs in vitro in vitro means in test tube okay in glass tubes outside the organism you are taking a plant part a cell a tissue from a plant and you are allowing this plant cell or tissue or organ to grow in a test tube okay this is the meaning of in vitro culture and the latent term in vitro means in glass okay you are allowing a biological process to perform outside the cell or outside the organism and for this in vitro culture you require several specific conditions and techniques so let's move on to the first requirement which is in vitro culture lab you should have a culture lab for performing the in vitro uh, culture of plant cells to shows and organs a fully equipped culture laboratory must have enough space for washing drying and storage of glassware and vessels like petri dishes test tubes glass cassettes etc uh, it should have enough space for preparation storage and uh, sorry here it is uh, sterilization okay preparation sterilization and storage of nutrient media handling of ex plants they are cleaning and culturing and in some cases it has been found quite advantageous to have two separate rooms uh, one is known as media room which is meant exclusively for preparation sterilization and storage of media and another one is known as culture room which is meant exclusively for culturing and maintenance of cultures okay and the culture room must have enough working benches uh, where we can work it should have refrigerators where we can preserve our samples uh, we should have balance there ph meter stirrer incubator deep freeze and autoclave all these equipments are in one way or the other way essential they are vital to us and they should be all present in the culture rooms and the culture rooms must have facilities for maintenance of temperature light humidity and aeration in short uh, it means you should have an automatic control system on temperature light humidity and aeration they should automatically be controlled now the second one is culture vessels uh, in culture vessels we have glass tubes flasks petri plates and many other things it is quite desirable to use glass vessels which are made up of borosilicate or pyrex because these substances they are not heat labile they do not easily burst on heating okay and the culture tubes and conical flasks uh, they are used for carrying the macro culture okay first of all let me tell you that there are two types of cultures one is known as macro culture in macro culture we culture the callus the embryos and the plantlets for this to happen we use the conical flasks and culture tubes and another type of culture is known as micro microculture where we culture the cells or the protoplasts and for this cell culture or protoplast culture we need the glass slides okay you might have seen glass slides these are the rectangular uh, glasses and these rectangular glasses should be 
इक्विप्ड विद कवर स्लिप्स उनके ऊपर एक कवर स्लिप भी होनी चाहिए ठीक है द माउथ ऑफ कल्चर ट्यूब्स एंड कॉनिकल फ्लास्क विच कंटेन द प्लांट शूज सेल्स एंड ऑर्गन दे शुड नॉट बी लेफ्ट ओपन इन अ स्टेट वी शुड प्रॉपरली प्लग दियर माउथस और वी शुड स्टॉप पर दियर माउथ विद कॉटन प्लग्स टू एलिमिनेट द चांसिस ऑफ कंटेमिनेशन बैक्टीरियल कंटेमिनेशन फंगल कंटेमिनेशन ओके दिस इज वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन कल्चर रूम्स यू शुड नॉट लेफ्ट द कल्चर फ्लास्कस द कॉनिकल फ्लास्क द कल्चर ट्यूब्स ओपन ओके दिस शुड बी प्लग विद कॉटन प्लग्स टू एलिमिनेट द चांसिस ऑफ बैक्टीरियल एंड फंगल कंटेमिनेशन ओके एंड समटाइम्स वी यूज पॉली प्रोपाइलिन और वी कैन यूज एलोमोनियम फाइल्स और स्टेनलेस स्टील फॉर प्लगिंग दिस कल्चर ट्यूब्स एंड कॉनिकल फ्लास्क ओके नाउ द वॉशिंग ऑफ कल्चर वेसल्स हाउ वी कैन यू वॉश आवर कल्चर वेसल्स यू हैव टू वॉश यूर कल्चर वेसल्स फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ रीजन्स एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन इज द कंटेमिनेशन यू हैव टू एंश्योर दैट ऑल द कल्चर वेसल्स आर प्रॉपरली वॉशड to avoid the contamination of bacteria and fungi okay and the washing of culture vessels preferably involves they are soaking in detergent solution overnight you have to soak them overnight then in the morning you will wash them with brush and you will clean them first of all with tap water and finally with distilled water okay and once you have washed the culture vessels properly they are kept inside a hot air oven at 70 to 80 degrees celsius for proper time drying okay you will dry them in the oven at this much temperature and finally after drying they are stored in dust free cupboard or cabin till you are ready to conduct the experiment okay in the next part we are going to discuss the sterilization technique i hope you all are, all understand this Uh, thank you and stay blessed